Hey guys, Solo Artist here, and today I'm bringing you another Skyrim clip. Uh, my live commentary really didn't take off, I didn't receive much feedback on that one, so I decided to shelf it and to start up maybe doing some of these tutorial videos like uh, my Potamos Catacomb one. Now, the one thing that I want to do with these tutorials is make it brief, as brief as possible, because I noticed that. A lot of videos on YouTube, you just click on it, it's 15 minutes long, 30 minutes long, and to be honest, I don't want to sit for 30 minutes and watch a Skyrim video on how to do like a simple little thing. So I just want to keep, try and keep this as brief as possible, so I may go a little fast. But um, basically, this tutorial is how to increase your smithing, your enchanting, alteration, and speech. Now. The way I discovered this little trick, I suppose, or it's not a glitch. It's, it's not a glitch or a trick. It's just this set of this routine. I was trying to improve my enchanting and smithing at the same time. So the main premise is that you forge gold rings and then enchant them. And then I added some steps along the way. Instead of having to mine for gold or try and find them, what you want to do is mine ore, iron ores and then with your transmutation spell the spell transmute which you can buy from a magician I was lucky enough to find it from uh, from a mage I'd killed he had a tome of transmutation so what the transmutation tome does is allows you to transmute iron ore into silver ore and then silver ore into gold ore so as you can see this is also improving your alteration because it um, as you as you transmute you increase your uh, level and competency in, in that. So take this is the most time-consuming part of the whole process because my my guy is more of a warrior than anything else, so his magic is kind of low. So it took a while for me to do this. But if you have a mage or a mage build, you know someone who has a lot of magicka and he you know replenishes his magicka really quickly, then um, this should be a breeze for you. <clears throat> so what you want to keep doing is is um, transmuting your iron ore into silver ore into gold ore and you want to have as much gold gold ore as possible and um, so the more you mine the more rings you'll have in the end I was lucky enough to to have mined a bunch of iron ore and usually when you mine you usually get two two pieces of ore but I went to um, I went to several mines where I actually got almost up to like six or eight pieces and that sped the process up a lot. <clears throat> so once you have your your gold ore, you want to you want to smelt it because you can't forge straight out of ore. So you want to go to um, White Run or Dawnstar. Those are the two locations that I usually go to to smelt things. So here I go to White Run, and as you can see as soon as you enter White Run, you go straight to the right into this little uh, igloo-looking thing, and um, you make iron ingots. Now it takes two gold ores to make one gold ingot so it's kinda sucky that way but if you mine a lot of iron then it should be a problem now once you're done with that you go to the blacksmith and go all the way down to jewelry and then you can forge your gold rings now one iron ingot will give you two gold rings so there is some sort of balance in that and as you can see the value right now is 75 and you can sell them like that right away and you increase your speech that way but if you also want to increase your enchanting at the same time, you can enchant these gold rings, and uh, that will increase. That will really drastically increase their value, depending also on your enchanting level. Because if you're a low enchanting level, the, the the stuff that you enchant won't have that relatively much of a difference, you know. Like you can enchant the gold ring. Like right now I'm a lot of low level. You enchant, I enchant it, and I get like a one percent increase or like four percent. Four percent is my maximum. But even 4% takes the price of the gold ring from 75 to somewhere around 250. So that's that's a lot more money than than just selling the gold ring by itself. And this also increases your enchanting at the same time. So to enchant, you need to basically have a, a soul gem that's full and an item and an enchantment. You you get the enchantment from disenchanting things. So you can see here, I grab the gold ring, I fortify the sneak, and enchant it. Now. The next step and the final step is to find someone who's willing to buy that stuff. Here I go to Solitude to these snobby shopkeepers and uh, you can sell the gold rings there. I'll give you an example of the prices here. So if you see a normal ring, it's 
um, it's, uh, 25. Uh, enchanted is a little at 1%, it's 36, and 4% is 264. So you definitely want to increase your enchanting, and the better you get at it, the more okay. valuable your items will be. And um, so that's basically a short tutorial on how to increase all the stuff that I mentioned. You know, your smithing went up, your enchanting went up, your speech went up, and you're getting rich out of the whole process. So um, definitely check out my other videos, and remember to give this comment a favorite, like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Peace.